morning folks. Welcome to Grey Ghost Gardens. I'm Scott and uh, well, it's a, a beautiful morning here in, in early June. I think today is June the 3rd. Um, we actually had a little cool front come through which is very rare and very relative. Um, here, in, here in Southeast Texas this time of year Anything that changes the temperature is usually associated with some kind of a storm, um, but there wasn't. We we didn't. Unfortunately, we didn't get any rain out of out of the system. But the humidity has been knocked down. Um, it's noticeably cooler. Uh, just a real treat. And and so I've got uh, a couple of containers that that I need to harvest and. I thought I would share that here with you. Uh, there's also a lot going on in my garden um, right now, as I'm sure is, is the case with everyone. Um, getting tomatoes, uh, my corn is, is looking really good. Um, you know, still harvesting lots of green beans. I pulled uh, most all of my onions now, and, and so I'm done. With, with onions, I gotta get my sweet potatoes in. Um, my peanuts are going gangbusters. So I'll do another little video and, and, and show some of that to you, but I wanted to, to harvest a couple of these buckets that, uh, that I have here that, that are potatoes. And so, let me put my coffee down. Um, what I've got here, uh, is a, a bucket I guess I missed um, of, of Norland Red that was planted way back on February 20th. Um, I cut the tops off of these probably five or six, maybe maybe longer than that, about a week ago. I, I kept, took the tops off of them um, and so they've been sitting here kind of drying. Um, I've always, I think, been too hasty with my container potatoes. I cut the tops off and then immediately go in and, and, and harvest the potatoes. And I, and I think that makes makes me prone to damage the, the skin of, of the potatoes. Um, and, and so I'm hoping that by taking the, the tops off and then letting the container sit for about a week, um, I'm, I'm hoping that allows the, the potatoes in there to to firm up a little bit. We'll see. I, I, I'm not real sure, but I'm always I'm always guilty of being too impatient. Um, so I'm going to dump dump this here into my uh, my catch bucket that I'm I'm collecting some of my spent soil in that I'm going to going to reuse because I've actually got some more tomatoes that I need to hot um, from from cuttings that I've, I've taken off my vines as they've been growing and so I'll I'll repurpose this soil which is still really nice and loose put a few amendments in there put some nutrients back into it and um, and get more use out of it so let me dump this in and uh, then we'll move the camera closer and see the grief what we got well I see potatoes there we go um, so again uh, this is Norland red it was whole seed potato so I must have had some small ones left over so I planted whole seed um, and this was back on February 20th. All right, so again, just my standard five gallon bucket, holes there in the bottom for drainage. Um, you know, just in, in looking at it, roots look pretty good. I do see a few big potatoes already. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be good. So let me get the camera moved in here close so you can see what I see as we dig for buried treasure. So one thing I forgot to say, you can probably hear it in the uh, in the background. One of my neighbors 
kind of over on the other side of the street is uh, getting their roof replaced. And so if you hear an incessant banging on the, uh, on the audio, just know that it's guys working hard to, uh, to replace the roof and trying to get as much of it done before, before the temperature gets up to uh, a warm baking mode. So um, right away, these are what fell out of, of the top as I, as I tumped it over. So those are beautiful, nice, big, Norland red. Um, and I can already tell just by, by looking at these that the skin is, is firmer on there. So I'll set that in the bucket. Um, wow. I guess maybe I should forget about some of my buckets longer again. That's another really nice big one um, right there. So far my family has loved all of the potato harvest um, because we're getting lots of homemade french fries and um, homemade potato chips. really well developed roots you know the other thing that I'm I, I'm thinking as I progress through different containers and buckets and, and that kind of stuff I'm, I'm leaning more and more to the idea that the best results that I've gotten so far have come from when I have used whole seed potatoes rather than cutting them into um, smaller pieces yeah, this this soil is still amazingly loose and and not overly compact and here's another really nice one several good sized potatoes. Like I said, this was one I had actually kind of forgotten about. Again, I had the my my label. What do you think, Cosmo? Well, you got grass sticking out of your mouth there, bud. So here's the garden namesake again for those of you that haven't met Cosmo. Cosmo the Wonder Pup. Uh, he's a two-year-old Weimaraner. And that's why it's called Grey Ghost Gardens. Um, Weimaraners are known as Grey Ghosts uh, because their color, they, they would disappear in the forest uh, and just look like shadows or apparitions as they ran chasing game. And uh, when he was a pup, he loved the garden and he still likes the garden. Um, he loves chasing butterflies and bugs and uh, the other day he uh, must have chased a wasp or a yellow jacket or something because he, he got stung pretty badly uh, on his ear, but you live and you learn. Um, there's the what's left of the seed, but look at that. I mean, completely used. I mean, there's nothing. It's a shell. Talked about, talk about just using up all of the energy of of that seed that's that's pretty remarkable in in my opinion and uh you know i guess there's a couple of couple of little things down there but make sure i didn't miss anything in here real quick i think got it all. So, let's dump these back out here 
on top and there you see there's a nice harvest out of that bucket some of these are, are really nice um, big Norland red potatoes I've um, so far only harvested Kennebec white and Norland red um, and you know again I would have to have to say that my preference so far has been for the Norland red I think it's been more vigorous more productive um, and on the whole produced um, a better potato which was, was part of the reasoning for for my experiments down here with so many uh, different varieties of potatoes um, I'll go get these weighed up and um, and I've been harvesting a bunch of containers this morning um, uh, a nice bucket of Norland red potatoes uh, I've harvested several five gallon buckets of, of carrots with varying degrees of success and I have got my first um, container of Viking purple potatoes that I'm going to harvest. I don't know if these grew long enough, um, but the tops died off and so I cut them. Uh, and it's, it's been a few days, but I thought I would see what we have in here. I'm a little nervous because I don't think these were quite ready to to die off I'm not exactly sure why the tops started dying but I see potatoes and so that is a good I also see a whole lot of ants but looky here Viking purple so let me see if I can be careful and not get just tore up by these ants which they're already biting me a little bit but such as life so this is one of the one of the different varieties that I tried um, again trying to see what would grow well or what doesn't grow well and so far I would say these are doing okay um, They're not producing enormous potatoes. Again, I felt like these, uh, like something, oh, there's an actual worm. Look at that, I had a earthworm get it all the way up into a container. But you can see, I don't know if you can see the ants crawling around, oops. Wow, these produced way down deep. Um, there you can see the ants. So let me see what else I can move out of the way here. I don't think there's anything in that one. It's a really beautiful potato. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's variegated. Um, I'm trying to hurry because I think the battery's about to die on my camera. I would classify this as a success. Um, let me see if I can get some of this dirt moved out of here to make sure I didn't miss any. I'm just so hesitant with all the ants. And that's why you go back through it all.
I, I was nervous again because the I, I didn't think these had been growing long enough. It seemed to me like the tops on this particular container uh, died off prematurely. Which is why I went on ahead and cut them off and have let it sit there for a little bit. But I've my first experience with Viking purples, and you know, considering that I, I think I had to maybe harvest it a little prematurely, hey, I'm okay. I don't know if it was the ants, maybe that that somehow or another caused the the, uh, the the plants to die off or to die out but um, you know it's a really really pretty uh, potato again you know you can see how it's it's kind of got this variegated color some of its whiter some of its more purple more pronounced um, so anyways Something different, something new. Never seen this variety, never grown this variety before. So I've got a few more containers of it uh, where the where the the growth hasn't died off yet. Uh, that was all planted at the same time. Um, this one was planted um, on March 10th. Um, so we'll see how how those produce. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for being here with me in Grego's Gardens. I'm Scott. Until next time. Bye-bye.